Richard. How are you, Richard? I'm doing well. Are you saying we just got engaged, was it? Yeah, oh, we did. I already told you, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you so much. It's like kind of masculine, kind of feminine. No, it's beautiful. Nice, eh? Wow. But something cool. we would love to do to start you off is do a little bit of bubbles. Oh, oh that sounds so, nice. Sure. Awesome. We'll bring that right around. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay. In all seriousness, you guys. We are so excited to be here at Hawksworth. This is gonna be a magical experience and we are stoked to bring you guys along with us. So, let's get this on. Thank you. Our lovely server, Richard, bringing us some stilled water. Oh yeah. Yes, the bubbles have arrived. All right, thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. Cheers. Us. To us, dining at Vancouver's most expensive restaurant, or one of the most expensive Quite restaurants. And then for the food, we do like to take the photo roll at once, so that way then I can move the menus and then we'll course it out throughout the night. Oh, Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I'll just, uh, give you some time that fine know. dining, yes. Yeah. Wow, you guys, these drinks look fantastic. I'm just trying to decide if I'm feeling wow, more boozy. boozy or if I want the bourbon or the gin, that's what I'm trying to figure out. If I'm feeling more bourbony or ginny. You should go for the peach emoji. Yeah, because that's true. We have so much gin at home right yes, now. Yes, and that's like all we drink, right? Okay, so what should we do? Let's get down to business here. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Okay, so for Appies, why don't we try the baby back ribs? Okay. Do you want to get those? Okay. And yes, then... that was going to be my choice if I was going to pick one of uh, any of them. Okay, and then we should do... Wow, side note, truffle fries are $18. I know, I saw that too. Holy I was like, ooh, shit. we're not practicing anymore. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> okay, so we've come to a couple conclusions for what we're gonna order. I think we're gonna start with the mixed green salad and the bread. That's what we should do for course number one. We'll do the baby back ribs for course number two. And then let's pick, why don't we just do that for the second course? And then we'll pick our mains. Okay. All right, so. Do you know what you want for your main? I do not, but let's take a look. Look what just arrived. Oh. Wow, that's beautiful, nice and clear. Ooh, thank you so much. I think what we've chosen, you guys, is we're gonna do the mixed green salad. We're gonna get the bread, the artisan bread. I'm gonna get the ricotta ravioli. And what are you gonna get, baby? I am gonna go for the duck breast. I'm feeling my duck vibe. Right. Cheers. 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 Love you. Love you. Freshly engaged, y'all. Okay, so what in the menu it says coconut milk, correct? You're so Which right. That's why I was surprised that it wasn't creamy at all. This looks like coconut water. Yeah, 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 so yeah, 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 yeah. coconut milk, I expect some creaminess. Actually, you know what? He's right, because I was excited. That's why I got it. That's like coconut milk. And look at it. It's like literally water. It's not bad. It's it not, tastes very nice. It does, but the coconut milk is what I was like. I'm looking for more of that creaminess. Yeah. Get the, uh, the mixed uh, salad to start. Okay, okay. Uh, this is a small or large salad. We'll get the large one. And then we'll also get the bread. Absolutely. Uh, to start. And then second course, we're going to get the baby back ribs. Perfect. And then third course, what are you going to get? I'm going to get the duck breast. The duck breast. That's really good. good. Um, Chef like, choice is maybe a Yeah. I agree, okay. I agree. Uh, and then I'm gonna get the ravioli. Ravioli, very nice. Perfect. And were there any allergies I need to be worried about? We'll take these out of your way. Thank you so much. Any place in Atkins on your lap there? Oh, uh, sure. Oh, yeah, yeah woo. Service. Uh, something we can do. Yeah, my pleasure. Right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, yes. A little bit of bread. Thank you. That's All so right. Cute. Yeah, a little dainty. That's super cute. Wait, what is that? Is that salt? Yeah, it's rock oh, it salt. Is. Oh, it's molden. That's molden salt. Really? Yeah, I remember seeing that in the menu. So yeah, Ooh. molden salt is the highest quality tasting salt you can get. It's a finishing salt. Really? Yeah, oh. Cool. Oh, with the salad? Yes. So we have the large salad right there. That has a nice lemon vinaigrette and puff rice. Thank you very much. My pleasure. That looks great. Thank That's you. So cute. Look, the little edible flowers. All right, let's try out these greens. Ooh. 
another little faux pas. This place is really nice, but the butter is like hard as hell. Yeah, like, just, you cannot they just spread it, it out, out of the fridge. You're not supposed to do that. Of course, You're supposed it should to have spreadable. Yeah. Fat. Let's try the salad. Mm. It's like a very acidic dressing. Almost vinegary. I'm getting the vinegar, but not much else. I get oil, and I get vinegar. Okay, look at this too. Okay, so this is turning into like a harsh critique of the one of the most expensive restaurants in Vancouver. But yeah, look, 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 look. See, look at the brown on the end? I mean, oh. bad, 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 bad. You need to cut off all this white part, because that's all bitter. Oh, I found another one. Yo, this salad sucks, eh? Isn't it so bad? It's just like, how is everything to start here? Oh, yeah, it's, it's not bad. It's, um, yeah. We ran into a couple snags, not gonna lie. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're not trying to be overly, like, critique -y. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's only because, like, the butter is a little hard to spread. Okay. Do you have softer butter or no? I will have to check with the uh, ESAs, but we should. So, uh, do you guys always serve, um, like, cold butter to spread on the bread? Maybe they just took it out of the fridge, but I can go find out to see if you have some more to Oh, okay. Here. The salad was a big flop, guys. Like, bad, like... Big floppy donkey dick. Oh, Jesus, man. Come on, there's no one around. Oh my god. There's no one around. Man. No, so Aaron's kind of dab. Like. <laughs> well, okay, first course. Um, you know, I wish I kept going and I wish it was really good, but. It unfortunately is not that good, so I'm not going to continue. Look at this, look at this. When you look at the plate, though, they yeah. look like little maggots. Oh, they do. Oh my god, you guys got to see this. Like these little bugs hanging out in the green garden. Oh my god. Oh, they do! They literally look like they're just crawling around. Oh. Baby back ribs with roasted peanuts, pickled chilies, chopped off in a little cilantro. Nice, that looks great. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. All right, next course is here. Check it out, you guys. This is the baby back ribs, right? Kind of Asian inspired with the whole peanut cilantro chili. This actually looks really good and it smells really good too. Yeah. I'm excited. So I got one of those chilies too. Mm, tender. Pickled chili is nice. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good flavor. Wow. Okay, you guys, the pickled chili. Really, really, really good. These came right on top of the ribs. Mm. Oh my god. Those are good. See, that's like the flavor kick that I want. It's just like, ow. It's like, bam. It could be a bit hotter. Like, the temperature, kind of warm. Like, yeah. I, I was hoping it'd be more like piping hot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think you could get better ribs at a like a hole in the wall, really good like Korean place, you know? Good Asian place that does like ribs, like it just needs a better sauce, I think. Ooh. How are the ribs there? They're tasty. Yeah, they're good. Thank you. Ooh. We got a couple finger towels now. <laughs> you see the way they expanded like tail? Yeah. Ones? Yeah, yeah. Let's get down, let's get down to business. Course number three. Let's go. Yeah, so you could literally take this straw and smoke crack out of it. Literally, still going on about the straw. it's a crack bite. So if you wanted to, if you are a person that enjoys fine dining and smoking crack, just take the straw out of your drink and use the candle. You can take the boy out of Nanaimo. I'm trash. No offense, <laughs> we love you Nanaimo. We're just waiting patiently for course number three. Mm, make it be good because the first two courses were like... Kind of lame. First course, like... Trash. Very lame. Very lame. Second course... Okay, so we're working up the lame scale. Went from really lame to like, okay, so... This better be it. We're getting some more cutlery. Yes! Exciting. Richard is back! night for the duck press all right, the mains have arrived. 
Wow, you got eggs with yours. Those are the quail eggs. Oh. Wow, bougie. That looks really good. Not bad. I'm excited. I am excited as well. Bon appetit. Okay, cheers one more time. Okay, to the third course. God help Hawksworth. Let's go. The knife, I will complain about the knife. It's very, it's kind of difficult to cut through this duck. Mm. I'm not gonna lie. Interesting, eh? The duck looks very nicely cooked though. That nice pink through there, is it good? Super red hair, try it. Ooh, Aaron's gonna give me a bite of his duck. It looks, it looks really good, but he's saying it's not hot, which like, is unfortunate. And they said crispy skin, it's like half crispy skin. So that was like Ooh. kind of a letdown. Damn, it's like letdown after letdown. But I think it's because like, you know, you know? if you have something crispy, yeah. and then you sauce it and you let it sit, it's not going to be crispy. It's crispy if it's fresh, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Flavor, really good. Doneness, very good. Temperature could be better, crispiness could be better. Uh -huh. Yeah. My first quail egg I've actually ever eaten in my life. Well, this is just, this is actually just the yolk. Oh, just the quail yolk. Yeah. So like, Some it's kind of like, yolk? it's made into like, almost like a sweet custard kind oh, of idea. Oh, interesting. Yeah, right? Okay, pasta. I would say the tomato sauce is really good. Like is it's, it? It's pretty good. It's that San Marzano, that high quality Roman, uh, plum tomato. Yeah, it's like, it's subtle. Subtle, nice tomato flavor. There's that word again. I've heard it. subtle so many times today. But, but this is a good subtle. It's like subtle but rich. Try it. Oh, I, I'm familiar with San Marzano. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, just try how they do it though. Yeah, nice, eh? That's a very good marinara. Yeah. I like that. We asked him for the you really taste for yourself. It tastes so good. Mm. It's crazy here. It's really tasty. Yeah, yeah. It's so good. I thought I was going to get like three raviolis, but I think I got like six or seven. Like it's a good, it was oh, a no good way. pile. Okay, good. I've already eaten like three and there's like still half my dish, so. I thought for sure you were just gonna get three. Yeah, right? And it's a $40 pasta, but it's pretty good. I mean. If you could rate your dish out of 10, what would you give it? 8.5. Okay, pretty good, pretty good. Yeah. What's your favorite component? Oh, that's hard. Okay, cause like the quail egg custard, very nice. Yeah. It's the warmest thing on the plate, so that's nice. <laughs> okay. The turnips, standard. Like nothing bad, nothing special. Right? Yeah. Pretty average. Um, I don't know if it's spinach or collard greens, but like the mixture below, yeah. flavorful, gives me Hispanic, Hispanic pita kind of vibes. Okay. Gives me like a, like like a, a feta well kind, of, kind of thing. Feta kind of spinach kind of vibe going on. Okay. Gotta love that vibe. Yeah. The foie gras juice, very tasty. Uh... Very, but not like. Not like overpoweringly like strong, yeah. but like very tasty. Good flavor. It complements, it complements the duck and the quail egg -like custard very nicely. Okay. The good. duck itself. Yeah. The duck itself is very nicely cooked. It's like the appropriate doneness. It's medium rare, just the way it should be. All right. It's, it's crispy, but not as crispy as they led me to believe. When you sauce it and then you let it sit, it yeah. becomes less crispy, which is yeah. fair, right? Yeah. So like if it went straight from the kitchen to my table, yeah. then I could get more crispiness. Yeah, yeah. But I can't complain about the flavor. The flavor gets Good. a 10 out of 10. Yes. The pasta, I would say, is it's very good. I don't know, it's, I would say for someone that just wants something very subtle and like nice, you know, it's good. The tomato sauce is, it's delicious. The filling is very good. I don't know, not overly spiced. It's not like, oh my God, like an explosion of my tongue. It's just good. Overall, the main course has been pretty good. Um, it's my favorite course out of all of them. Oh, hands down. I mean, okay, so don't come to Hawksworth for the bread or the salad. I don't know. To be honest, the ribs is nothing I would get again either. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, yeah, pretty okay. I like the tomato sauce, but honestly, you know what? I feel like you could go, like here it's good, but I feel like you could go get a stellar ass pasta at some like little Italian place, you know? Like, well, that was, I don't know. It was okay. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I was like, wow, but. Yeah, it's I know, okay. I wish, I wish you were, like, because right now, I'm feeling like that was, like, this combo right here was quite satisfactory. Nice, yeah. They lose yeah. points, like I said, they lose points on the crispiness and temperature, but other right. than that, quite satisfactory. Yeah. 
Okay, well, we uh, we mentioned that we want the bill and we're ready to go, but they're gonna bring us a little something, something, a little dessert, so I got a bit of a sweet tooth. I love a little, you know, little touch of chocolate. And if it's bad, I swear to God, I'm gonna fuck you up, Hawksworth, that's it. I've had enough of your bullshit. <laughs> Aw, look. Sweet so brought us a little bag. It must be, I'm guessing a couple chocolates or something. It's like another crack pipe in there. <laughs> oh, oh, they're, they're macarons! Oh, they're macarons! Aww. That's they're really probably sweet. from the Bell Cafe. Well, we are just leaving Hawksworth Restaurant. Yeah, towards the end, I just wasn't feeling it at all. Like the food was just like meh. Like the appetizer bread, suck balls. Uh, <laughs> you know, I don't know. I had to resort to getting a fucking vodka soda because the drink didn't actually have coconut milk in it. Aaron's was really it did, good. It Aaron's did say coconut milk though. I agree with you. It said coconut milk, and you did not yeah, get coconut milk. It's true. So honestly, it was uh, it was an okay experience. I would not go again for the price point. Um, like Aaron's duck was, uh, Aaron's duck was very good. So worth going back for that. He said the wine combo was delicious as well. I did love that, that Pinot Noir. Mayors from the Okanagan, shout out. Yeah. This is the taxi movie, but. Um, and mine was just not good. I was like, ah, oh, fuck. But thank God, you know, it was my birthday recently, so I got a gift card. So thank you again, Matthew, love so you, much. Matthew. Thank you, Matthew. Otherwise, you know, I don't know. I ain't going back until I'm a millionaire. <laughs> so, yeah, overall, I don't know. I didn't think this was gonna turn into like a critique video. I thought I was gonna be like, wow, and like be, and like I was gonna be so excited about telling you guys about Hawksworth and blah, 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 but wow. It was a bit of a bust. So, I don't know, go check it out. It's one of Vancouver's most iconic restaurants and I'm sure they have many things on the menu that are spectacular, but what I had was not. The salad was absolutely atrocious. The bread was cold. They gave us like cold hard butter. butter. Cold butter. Cold butter. As you guys saw, my favorite part of the appetizer portion was the salt, which is not okay. <laughs> but it is a high quality salt. Yeah, a high quality salt was my favorite part of the appetizer. <laughs> well, that was us dining at Vancouver's most expensive restaurant. It was an okay experience, but now we are gonna live it up. We are gonna go out and we are gonna get grungy as fuck at the club. <laughs> yeah, we are gonna take off these clothes and we are gonna get down and dirty because that is truly what the fuck is up.